Hello everyone, welcome back. It's been a little bit since I've made a video, um, but this game kind of caught my eye and I've been waiting for it for quite a while to be released. Uh, and I want to take a look at it today. This is a uh, U-Boat and it's currently still in development. The only options I have uh, are a tutorial and a sandbox mode. Uh, all I've done so far is I've tweaked a bit of the settings um, like I, I took off motion blur and stuff like that because that's, that's just kind of annoying to deal with. Uh, but I've never played this, just released a few days ago. I believe it was uh, May 2nd, and we're going to try it out. Now I do apologize if you can hear the rain in the background. It is downpouring right now. A little cinematic clip here. They probably didn't survive that. I'm loving the animation so far, it's, it's very beautiful. I hope the game lives up to my expectations uh, from from the, the pictures that were posted on Steam about the game. Now I have saved you the time and the suffering that I have just gone through over the past five minutes. Uh, I've cut most of this out, but I am still loading into the game. I don't know if that's a normal thing. Uh, I remember Silent Hunter, uh, a lot of their games had extremely long loading times getting into the mission, so... It has, in, in that sense, it has a, a, a Silent Hunter feel already. Alright, we're in the game finally. That, did, that, that took about... Uh, six... I would say six and a half minutes to load. I don't know if that's just my computer, um, or if that's, that's an average loading time for you guys. Uh, let me know in the comments below how long it took you to load into the game if you have it. Uh, so we're going to start off. It's a little bit choppy. I am playing on max settings. But for, um, I'm not sure exactly what version. I think, I think they're into the beta versions now. I don't think this is still alpha. Uh, it might be, though. I don't want to just keep talking and making a bunch of stuff up. Um, this looks like the captain. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Oh, Sir Golan, get on board and prepare for the road. Get on Our board. Are on my desk. Make yourself familiar with me. Aye, aye, captain. Uh, looks like we head across this little bridge here. And we are on our U-boat. Uh, I got a little arrow here. I guess this is where I can walk up. Now I've played back in the day, and and currently I still play a lot of Silent Hunter Five. Um, oh, something! Oh, close the hatch, climb down, climb down. See, I, it seems like a lot of this is going to be point and click, which I'm fine with. I mean, there's no there's no problem with that. Oh, you said big rumble of thunder. You might have heard that. Might <laughs> the floor just vibrated a little bit? House might get blown away. I hope it doesn't. I like to finish the video. Uh, right, right. So uh, this looks. If I didn't know any better, I would say I was in Silent Hunter Five right now. Uh, except there's no crew in here, which is oh, there, there comes someone. Let's see. Can I, can I tell? Can I get a name tag? Ah, Stefan. Stefan Keller is, is scrubbing the deck. Good, good man. Go ahead in here. Uh, this looks like the captain's quarters. Let's open the ship log. Uh, orders. Before noon on September 1st, the transport vessel Falcon left the port in Edinburgh. I think that's how you pronounce it. We have information that a radar technology prototype has been loaded onto it. We have reasons to think, let me move the mouse, that the ship was sunk on its original course to the North Sea as a result of sabotage. Your task is to find the wreckage, retrieve the equipment, and if possible, avoid being detected by the British eunuchs. We cannot be linked to the sabotage or attempts to seize the radar. 
Okay, so we we start off our, our tutorial is a, a Black Ops mission. I appreciate that. Um, before we uh, leave leave baggage at your bunk, where's my bunk? That's a table. There's this oh officer's bunk. Okay, put down briefcase. Ah, okay. See, this is what this is what I was waiting for. I was when I first saw um uh previews for this game it, it was it played heavily on what i'm about to show you uh so we're gonna read the first uh i'm sorry this view is called the section view it allows you to easily give orders to your crew and learn about the general condition of the ship the game is fully playable using either section view or first person uh, so if you prefer to play using only one of them you will never be forced to use the other See, I like that. That sounds that sounds really nice because it gives you, you can walk around like I have been, or you can do, as I'm about to show you as soon as I finish reading this. So I'll get on with it. The first mission will demonstrate the advantages of each of them, so you will be able to decide for yourself which one you prefer. All right, officer, it's time to open the map and plot the course. The easiest way to do this is to press M key on the keyboard or to press the button in the upper right part of the screen. That's probably that flashing one. Uh, good. Now set the ship's course by clicking the right mouse button on the circle target. Where is it? There's one. Okay. To add more points to the route, press shift and like previously, click the right button. Okay, okay, so you got... To make a new course, you just shift. Yeah, I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Very good. Now, do the same for the third and fourth waypoint. To spot them, you will need to zoom out or move the map. You can zoom in and out using the mouse wheel, while you can move it by pressing the left mouse button and moving the pointer. Okay. Oh, okay, so there's our next plot. So we're going to shift and click. Yeah, I've got a little dot up here. Oh, look how far you can zoom out. That's incredible. Oh, I can... Oh, I can, Oh, whoa, look at this! Is this really all playable areas? Let's see, can we go to America? Oh, boys. Guys, they have docks. The Port of Boston. Port of New York and New Jersey. We might be able to uh, travel over to America during this game. Uh, I mean, it's still, it might not be, like, actually modeled yet. Uh, I mean, even so, we would have to get porks down in, in like, around here or or, or down in, in uh, Africa to have the, the fuel to be able to get there. Um, but there are porks over there, so it must be modeled. Uh, so anyway, enough, enough of that. Let me just shift right to the next one. Uh, good. It's time to start the engines. Click the highlighted button to show the telegraph. Okay. Oh, okay, so it brings up the little wheel. Uh, and now choose the highlighted second gear of the engine. Alright, forward two. Faster, faster. Yes, Klaus, we must go faster. Like, oh, yeah, see? Okay, so anyway, this is, this is like the main selling point. Is I can be out in like a third person mode overlooking the ship. And if I choose to play it like this instead of first person, like it did when I boarded the ship, I can zoom in. Let me see if I can. Yeah, I can zoom in further. And we can look through every compartment on the ship, and and kind of micromanage every single player. Well, probably not every single. That would be a little tedious. Uh, but look, we got the torpedo tubes right under <laughs> right under the bunks. Uh, let's see how far we can go. We can. Yeah, we can go all the way to the bow of the ship, and then we can look on the top. Or on the deck. You can see we've got the deck gun. We've got another escape hatch. Uh, we can check out the conning tower. We've also got the uh, the flak gun. I don't think there's anything else on the top. There's another escape hatch here. And I believe we have a rear torpedo tube. I believe that's it right there. Yep, stern torpedo room. Look at this. We can check out the propellers and rudder system. Um, I'm not able to click on anything, but I think I might be able to in the future. Um, I know I know it says something. I just want to check out the game really quick. Uh, so we got an engine room going on. It looks like we're in slow motion while I'm doing the tutorial. Uh, we've got a uh, a galley, more crew quarters, and then we're back to the control room. Uh, so anyway, back to the mission. 
Let's speed up. Turn on time compression by pressing the highlighted button in the interface or click the middle mouse button. Uh, so that's up here. I like how they, they make everything flashing so you actually know what's going on. Uh, so this should speed up time and it should make it look like we're getting out of port uh, much faster uh, than we actually are. So I'm going to keep this going for a little bit. Now I hope I plotted this course correctly because I really going going faster than we normally are. Is this gonna? Oh, look at that, boys! It opens up for you. This must be uh, one of those. I I don't know the actual name of it, but in real life, that's where like if the the water level was higher on one side, um, you could it would raise or lower the level so the ships can can pass through. I think the Panama Canal has something similar to that. Um, when you are in a friendly or neutral area, then also the fast travel, then also the fast travel mode becomes available. I, that's, that seems, that seems wrong. Like, that's wrong grammar. When you are in a friendly or neutral area, the fast travel mode becomes available. It is displayed next to the regular time compression button, uh, so up here. Click it to rapidly move out of the current area. Okay. Speed boost! Let's zoom in a little bit and see where we're at. Uh, we are also playing uh, the submarine U-96, by the way. Uh, I, I'll look into that, but I'm not sure if there's a historic... Um, like, if U-Boat 90... If U-96 was actually uh, a U-Boat or what its actual story was. Um, and if it is, it would be really neat to find out if the game actually kind of followed um, the, the, the kind of story of the ship. Uh, we've got new orders. Uh, it's a perfect time for you to get familiar with the boat and prepare for what is to come. I've prepared a list of things worth doing in the meantime. Select Officer Kohler and assign him necessary tasks. If you prefer to play in first person, click on him twice. Um, I'd rather not play first person. I've, I was really excited for this kind of, um, uh, the, the, like a Fallout Shelter-ish kind of uh, management system. So I'm going to, for the, for the most part, I'm going to stay in uh, this, this, uh, kind of x-ray mode, but let me, let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to try something different, because we can play in first person, um, and I'm sure probably throughout, throughout the game, I plan on doing a couple series as the game, or not a couple of series, a couple episodes as the game, uh, progresses and more updates come out, because the developers are update, updating this quite frequently, um, because of course it's still in development, like I said, I'm pretty sure it's in some, some form of beta stage. Um, so anyway, uh, back to the back to the main quest. Uh, find and discipline sailors that do not do their duties, uh, and also restock food in the galley. So, I guess we can just scroll and look for someone who isn't doing what they're supposed to. There's no one back there. Oh, I've got a little green green thing on him. What is this guy? Uh, find and discipline. Oh, so this must be. I'll probably have to select a color. Um, talk. Sleeping sailor. He is sleeping standing up, really? Uh, it looks that, like, uh, Dietrich? Uh, Luther? I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm, I'm trying my best, guys. Decided to take a nap while on his duty. We should react to such blatant lack of discipline. What punishment would be right for him? Oh, we can select punishments. Um, start off with a warning. Uh, this is no effect. Toilet cleaning. Uh, Luther will clean the toilets during this time. He will be unavailable. Discipline grows by five percent. Uh, we can we can arrest him. Uh, we'll be placed in the brig. He won't be available during this time. Grows uh, discipline grows by ten percent. Or or, <laughs> or execution. He will, he will be executed for standing while sleeping. <laughs> discipline grows by twenty five percent. I don't... <laughs> I don't want to... <laughs> well... <laughs> I don't know. Let's try, let's try execution. <laughs> I've never started off a tutorial by executing someone, but I think I'm going to start now. <laughs> what, is he, what does he do? He's just thrown out the sea? Does he get abandoned, or do they just like put a bullet in his head right here? would be ashamed. What is he going to say? Oh, 
Death. Oh my god, he's gonna shoot him? Is he? Oh my god, he actually shot him! Oh my god, that is that is intense, man. Who's gonna... Where's that guy with the broom? Stefan, where are you? Oh, there he is. Oh no, that's David Peter. David, we need you in the uh, in the engine room. There's there's been a, a a spill of some sorts. Wow, I can't believe that. Welcome to the channel, guys. If you've never watched one of my videos, uh, I typically execute people <laughs> for doing very small um, for for very small inconveniencing things <laughs> frequently. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's in here, he's cleaning up! <laughs> oh, good job, Peters. You should get a, uh, can I click on it? Ah, yes, keep up the good work. Cleaning up that blood stain. Oh my god, that was, I can't believe I did that. I, I, you know what, I, I think a, a, uh, a toilet cleaning would have been probably the better thing to do. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it is a tutorial, but I don't know if that's gonna that's gonna hurt me later on being a crew member short. Uh, <laughs> anyway, with the execution out of the way, I guess we can work on restocking the gallery. Uh, let's see. Um, or not gallery, galley. Um, storage room. What is that? Some cheese. We already got cheese there. We got exotic fruit, a luxury food ration. Put it in the kitchen to use it for cooking. I could do, uh, well, just click and drag. Exotic food transfer. Oh, we only had 13, huh? Alright, I mean, I guess that's, that's fine. Uh, our next one is reach the destination. So I'm going to do, I'm going to back out just a little bit. Oh, look at this. This is beautiful. What I'm going to do, I'm going to actually go into uh, Kohler. Uh, we're gonna turn in. Whoa, a little motion sickness there. Hey, no sleeping on the job. You can you get executed like that. Uh, let's go through. Let's go through the hatch here. Uh, let's go up to the to the uh, observation deck. Is that what you call it, or is it just once you're outside of the conning tower? Is it still just the conning tower, or is it like an observation platform? I don't really know what they call it. I I should know. I love I love stuff like this, but. Oh, look at that. I, I feel like I'm playing Silent Hunter 5. But I feel like this game has, like, so much more potential. Are we missing a periscope right here? We usually have a per... Uh, I mean, there's... You can see the tip of the observation periscope. Oh, no, that's the attack periscope. That's the observation periscope. I, I don't really know, to be honest with you. Um, but we have a destination to reach. Uh, and... It looks like it's quite... Quite, quite a ways away. Uh, so, yeah, 385 kilometers. Uh, so what I'm gonna do... Oh, we go. I guess we're going back. I guess. That was the, the thing that was going on. Uh, so we will leave Kohler and his crew uh, just for a little bit. And I will be back when we either reach the destination or something interesting happens. Alright guys, welcome back. Uh, nothing happened along the way, we made it just fine. Uh, it is night time, and I have noticed in the game it gets really hard to see at night. Uh, but we have reached the area where, according to our intelligence, the Falcon Wreck should be located. Keep your eyes open, we have to find it before the British. Uh, so with that said, I actually think that I will be... This tutorial is a little longer than I expected it to be, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to split it into a two-part... Because uh, I feel like, I, the way I think this mission is going to go is we're going to find the wreckage, grab whatever we need, and come back. Um, so what I'm going to do for here is I'm going to end the video, uh, and I'm going to probably have it up in the next day or so. And we will be back, and we will pick up the second part, uh, where hopefully we, we find what we were looking for, and we, we make it back to port sur and, in one piece. Uh, so the final thing that I want to do is, uh, is uh, considering it's pretty dark, I suggest you turn on the searchlight mounted on the conning tower. 
I don't think that we will be able to spot the wreckage otherwise. And that's, that's a fair point, Captain. Uh, what I think I'll do is I will just... Uh, we still have Kohler selected. Let's, uh, let's make him go turn that light on really quick. And see, that's, that's the cool part. It's just I have that navigation of control. See, Kohler will go up front. He'll turn the searchlight on. Yep, there we go. And then he, I guess he just doesn't want to be out in the dark, but look at that. That is beautiful. Uh, send Officer Kohler to the target site on the conning tower to look for the wreck in the area. All right, guys. Well, this is where I'm going to leave it off. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. If you have any questions or anything you'd like to ask me, just let me know in the comments below. Uh, it, tell me if you also like the uh, the third person or the, uh, the first person more, uh, and I'll try and focus a little more on which one. But you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.